Thanks, Jack. One of the key matchups tonight was going to be the watch the goaltenders. That's had a little bit of a shakeup. I'll tell you about that in a second. First off, for OSU, Tommy Napier has been Mr. Consistent for the Buckeyes. He was named Goaltender of the Year last year in the Big Ten, and he just seems to turn it up when he plays the Spartans in four career games against MSU. He's 3-0-0 with a .3 goals against average. On the other side, John Leatherman, we expected him to start tonight. Instead, it will be Drew DeRitter. The rumors circling around is that John Leatherman is sick, so it will be the sophomore DeRitter in. That's a big loss for the Spartans as John Leatherman leads the Big Ten in save percentage right now. And MSU haven't beaten Ohio State home at Munn Ice Arena since 2015. We'll see if DeRitter can help them change that tonight. Jack and David, up to you. Welcome back to Mon Ice Arena. Ian Gilmore here. Michigan State and Ohio State still mate at zero after one period. Drew DeRitter started in place of John Leatherman tonight. That's been the big story. Leatherman has been confirmed out with illness. But Drew DeRitter, no stranger to the big stage. He started 17 games for MSU last year. But this year has been a different story. John Leatherman has caught fire. And because of that, we've only seen DeRitter three times all season. Haven't seen him since November 2nd against Cornell. In two games in his career against Ohio State, he's winless so far. But tonight, 11 saves in that first period. He's off to a good start. MSU, though, 2-6 and six when trailing after one. We'll see if they change that in the second period. Jack and David, up to you. Welcome back to Mun Ice Arena. I'm Ian Gilmore. Ohio State has had two weeks to rest and prepare for this crucial series with Michigan State. And when you're not playing, it can be easy to start scoreboard watching or standings watching in this case. But head coach Steve Rolick said this week that they've never even talked about where they're at or what the points are. That's not how they go about getting better. MSU, on the other hand, has had just three days between the duel and the D on Monday and tonight to get ready for Ohio State. But Dayton Cole has said that can be a good thing because if treated right, games can be just like practice. Now the Big Ten standings are pretty congested. Only seven points separate the top six teams. There's a couple games going on right now. Notre Dame leads Michigan 2-0 near the end of the third period. And that means that if Notre Dame holds that lead, they will leapfrog the loser of this game. And Minnesota and Penn State just dropped the puck in State College. Jack and David, we've got a fun third period coming up. Back up to you guys. Post game from Mun Ice Arena, Ian Gilmore for BTM Plus alongside Tommy Napier. Tommy, congrats on the win. You're now 4-0-0 against MSU in your career. Two shutouts. Your goals against clip and save percentage clip is exceptional. What's been the key to that success for you? Uh, I mean, I got to give credit to my team. I mean, they're just keeping them to the outside, just keeping them outside and letting me see the shot always. And, I mean, I'm just trying my hardest to not give up a rebound when they're keeping them to the outside there. And, I mean, they're a great team over there, and we've played four great games against them so far when I've been in the net. What worked so well tonight, and how can you continue that into Saturday's game tomorrow? Uh, I mean, I'm just trying to play my game out there, just stay on the top of the crease, no rebounds out there, be square to the puck. And, I mean, my team always helps me out, keep them to the outside again. And, just let me see every puck, but no traffic in front of the net. This win takes you guys into third place in the Big Ten. Are you as a team where you need to be come postseason time, or is there still work to be done? Uh, I mean, obviously, we, we want to be in first place, but we've hit some bumps in the road throughout the year, but we're just sticking with our game because we know when we play our game, we're one of the best teams and we're very hard to beat. Congrats on the win. Good luck tomorrow. Signing off from BTN Plus, I'm Ian Gilmore. Thanks for watching.